Hey guys, here we done found ourselves a Buick Riviera. My God, this is an 83. And I passed this thing up three times looking at it. And I kept saying, I don't know. I mean, I remember these cars. I lived next door to people who owned these cars. And I used to see them everywhere. And, and, and then one day you used to find them in the back of people's backyards and the back of the houses and alleyways and... People used them to the death and just left them and let them sit. You know, it's rare that you find one that is this clean. And this Riviera is beautiful. It has this burgundy paint with the white Landau top. And I mean, it's chrome on here. And you don't find something this clean just sitting anywhere. And guess what? I think this thing is very low mileage. But looking at the back end here, looking at this chrome bumper, checking out this car all the way around, this is very beautiful. This is what you want to find when you find a nice Buick, something that was well taken care of and meant to last the test of time. They were built, maybe not like the cars of the 70s, but they were built to last you quite some time if you took care of it. And that's the whole thing about it, taking care of the car. Because eventually it was going to take care of you. Let's take a quick look at the information board here. As you see, 83 Buick Riviera. It's got the 307 V8 in it, automatic. Oh, so yeah, it's maroon with maroon interior. And it has 26,000 actual miles on here. And you see the price of what they're asking for it. And it's sold as is. It's here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. You know, but we're gonna do a full video on this thing. And this thing is such a gem. Cause I mean, you don't, you don't see something this clean in a Buick that lasted the test of time. 83 and now it's 23. So you're talking about a 20 year old vehicle here. This, I mean, this thing looked like it's still fresh, maybe two or three years old out the factory. Body wise, paint wise, you know, let's look on the inside. And with this interior, you know, this is beautiful. And these things were front wheel drive, you know, so you don't have the transmission down in the middle. And so this, these things were great for all year round driving, man. With the luxury, the air conditioning. I mean, look at the wood grain on the dash and the glove compartment. The dash is really nice, burgundy color. Looking back at these seats, even the headliner. As you can see, the headliner is intact. And going to the back seat, you still had some adequate room back there, you know. So you could be able to put teenagers back there and let them sit. And if you and mama, you up there driving, she switch off. Y'all had plenty of room, you know. Yeah, when I think about it, these Buicks, the Oldsmobile Tornados, and the Cadillac Eldorados. My God, these were some beautiful cars, man, when you look at them. I mean, they had elegance. Maybe the Oldsmobile was a little bit rougher. And it was sturdier looking, but yet it still had its comfort and its luxury. That's why I couldn't pass up on this Buick. I mean, this thing was so beautiful. As we go in and look in through the driver's side window, you look at the back seat, you had room and you had the main thing, comfort for those riding in the back, as well as the driver's seat, comfort. That's what Buick was high on, luxury and comfort. Along with that, if you look at the dash, it's pretty clean. And then you look at the speedometer and the tech that went with it. I mean, it's simple to us now, but these things were well thought of when they put it together for the comfort and the luxury. And the look, the feel, hey, even the power options. You have power windows, power locks. This, These Rivieras were nice, man. Well thought of, well built. Buick did an excellent job with these cars. And the thing about it, see, this car was developed over time, you know, in the Buick um, engineering department. They, 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 they really elevated this car from time, you know. And that's the thing about it. Are you going to get this type of quality with the new EV cars as you look at the front end here with the styling or whatnot? And you think about the plush seats. And these new EVs Buick is going to have out, are you going to get the same type of feel-good quality with comfort? You know, because it took time to get this going. 
But with the new EVs as they're coming out, are you going to get that type of quality? You know, from A to Z, all of it. These things were well built. I said it before, I'll say it again. But they were top quality for an affordable car. Now you got to pay big money to get an EV. So when you think about it and you're in the market for one, think about the Buick Riviera. Later.